Hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, no. What? Hi guys, welcome. It <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ronnie Reality. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, hiya. So if you are new here on this channel, I make lifestyle videos or I talk about my reality. I do things. I do anything and everything. Maybe not everything. I do most things. Not everything. Most things. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about, if you could tell from the title, love. What is love? When you're not here with me, what is love? Okay. Yeah, we're going to be talking about love because Valentine's Day is coming up. This is going to be a three-part series, just so you know. Your three-part series, the first part is going to be me talking about well, this video. The second part is going to be a get ready with me for Valentine's Day. No, I do not have a date. And the third video is going to be a vlog of this entire thing. Well, not the entire thing because I'm, I can't vlog this because I'm on my camera. You get the point. It's going to be a vlog of me like getting prepared, prepared for my own Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the video. I made a list of things I want to talk about and in the order that I want to talk about them because I feel like a list is how you get things done. But also, I felt like that was not the original like the intro of this video you saw me lying in bed and screaming <laughs> clearly i'm wearing something different that's because i felt like for this talk i needed to be in my pjs i need to be comfortable and i thought about just wearing the robe my robe because it also felt like a robe moment but then honestly why keep the robe on it might still be a robe moment I don't know it's a little cold in here <laughs> i might just keep the robe on because i don't know <laughs> yeah i felt like this is a this is because i want you to feel as if we're friends we're talking this is we're, we're cool we're 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 with we're with shut up shut up shut hey! up we're friends with one another okay yeah okay so let's start it i hate valentine's day i'm kidding i'm kidding if you know me, you know I love Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. Why? It's not because I have a significant other, because I don't. I've actually, this goes into our first talking point. I've only had one relationship in my life. I've only been in one relationship in my life. I was young. Literally, I was 14 and then 15, and I broke up with him while I was 15, right before they shut down schools. Well, it was in January I broke up with him, and they shut down schools in March, so yeah. And it wasn't him. He's a great person. Fantastic. Love him from the bottom of my heart. But it was me. It was me. Yeah. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. It's not you. It's me. Yeah, it's true. It wasn't him. It was me. And so since then, I haven't been in a relationship. That was when I was 15. I am now 18 and I'm about to turn 19. So I haven't been in a relationship in a really long time. And the thing is, I've always, and I want to be in a relationship, right? But not really <laughs> because I'm very fearful of relationships. They scare me. Like I, sh I shouldn't be scared because like I said, I was in a relationship. But that was with a guy that I was best friends with for seven years prior. So I just feel like <laughs> I knew him. You know, we we were, we, 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 we yeah. And <laughs> that's just not the same for dating now. I talk about, I tell my family all the time, I don't want to go on a date. I don't want to date because I already know what I want. That's not the truth. The truth is I don't want to date because dating leads to relationships and I don't want to get my heart broken. Why do I not want to get my heart broken? Let's deep dive into Ranye's reality <laughs> really quickly. I am a romantic. I love romance. I love romance movies. I love seeing people in love. I love seeing people who are in love fight and then realize that they still love each other so much that no matter what they're going through, they're always going to overcome it. I love that. I love that. And I want that. But I also like to think logically. And I'm not going to get a Cinderella love story. First of all, I don't want a Cinderella love story. But I'm not going to get, you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to get a Cinderella love story. Or a Notting Hill moment. Like, this isn't the movies. Even though we wish it were. <laughs> this isn't the movies. It's not a fairy tale ending. As much as I would want it to be. 
And so because I have this pressure, it's like almost a pressure to want to live up to this romance that I've created in my head. And not that it's impossible, but <laughs> it's not realistic. It, it can happen. 1% of the time it could happen because there are times where I hear people's stories and I'm like this was straight out of Wattpad you stole this from Wattpad and I know because I read the story <laughs> and I just find it so interesting because I'm like maybe one day I could get that but at the end of the day who really knows who really knows what I'm gonna be able to get and there's another layer to this it's not just the fact that in my mind I've built up this romantic fantasy of what I think love is gonna be like and what if it's not like that? It's not even just that. It's me feeling like sometimes I'm not good enough for like another human being. And I get real self-conscious, you know, I because I not to my knowledge, I'm maybe there is, shh, what do I know? But to my knowledge, no one's brought it up to me. I don't think there are people who like, have, especially on this campus, I mean, if they're here, what do I know? Clearly nothing. But I don't think there are people that like me like that. I mean, I know there are people who like me, but I don't know if there are people who like have a crush on me. Like, oh, Jalen and crush, not in the same sentence. <laughs> and I just get real self-conscious a lot of the times. And I just feel like I could never be good enough for a guy. But then at the same time, I'm like, hmm. The real question is, are they good enough for me? I'm kidding. But yeah, that plays a role in it. Which gets me to my next point, which is self-love. It took me years to learn to love myself, okay? From like ages 11 to like 17, I'm 18. I was not the biggest fan of myself. I was hard on myself a lot. <laughs> I was on myself a lot. There was no grace. I was not giving myself grace. I was not giving myself love. I was not giving myself peace. It, it was just rough all around the edges, okay? I was a triangle. It, there was no sphere. It was just rough, okay? And <laughs> I just say it was a triangle. Anyways, point is, it was really hard for me to learn how to love myself. But now I'm at the point where I do love myself. I do love myself and in the hallway are so loud and it's hard to find that it's hard to find self-love and the reason i found it oh my goodness this what i'm gonna say i'm gonna share some tips now these tips are not gonna work for everyone mainly because not everyone believes what i believe that's fine with me let me say that's fine with me but i want to share this piece of me so i am a christian and because i'm a christian the first step to me loving myself was me realizing how much god loves me and spending time with him. I know that probably to someone who isn't Christian doesn't make any sense. Or even a Christian, you're like, huh? Especially if you're like new in your relationship. Tell me, no, let me be honest. You would've talked to me two years ago, you'd be like, oh yeah, the reason I love myself is because God loves me. I would've looked at you like, be so far. <laughs> like tell the truth and shame the devil. But no, I get it now, this, month i've been reading scriptures about love and watching sermons trying to watch sermons on the topic of love like every every month i'm trying to i'm trying to follow a theme here and i truly realized that if there's a god my god that not only did he give his son to die but he continually wants a relationship with me and he chose me that's what i'm saying like he chose me there must be something about me that's great. If my family and my friends chose me, and I know some of you are like, you don't really, your family doesn't choose. People walk out of people's lives all the time. My family still chooses to stay and love me. My friends still choose to stay and love me. There must be something in me that is beautiful. And when I started to realize that, I was like, wait a minute, I'm kind of onto something here. <laughs> So that was a portion of me learning to love myself. And the next portion was, baby, treating myself with care. 
self-care self-love self-care i was treating myself with care in many aspects one doing my natural hair <laughs> doing my natural hair was one way that i was loving myself i do it gently and i take my time and it's almost like because i this is really a topic for another video but i hated my natural hair for a while for for a very long time i hated my hair it mainly because it was heat damaged and it wasn't my full thickness inserts picture of what it was and inserts picture to what it was <laughs> and i just i hated it i hated that my hair was loose and it wasn't full and it wasn't my curl pattern i was just i was a really hard dark time for me but before that before the heat damage i learned to take care of my hair gently and to love my hair gently and to do it with care and with passion because i need to learn how to love every piece of myself and my hair love journey has been a long one okay babe it's been a long one it's been since i was like seven it's been a long it's been a long journey and so that that's one way that i love myself through my hair another way that i love myself is looks at notes skincare Woo! let's talk about it i love a good skincare moment i love skincare i'm into skincare i'm into taking care of your skin making your skin look healthy looking making it look radiant love it love it love it love it love it love it and for a long time like another insecurity of mine was like i would get you know it's, which was really just normal kid things like people get pimples people get acne it's it's life it's like well some people don't but we're not talking about that <laughs> we're talking about the people who do okay it's rough out here <laughs> and skincare became something i was really passionate about because there are things that I can't control, but how I take care of my skin is something I can control. Whether it gets better or not, it's the fact that I'm trying. It's the effort that counts, okay? And so skincare was a way that I really did that. I still do skincare. I love skincare. My skincare products are just right there. And if you guys ever want a skincare video, I got you. I got you. Another thing that I did, looks back, set notes, talk to yourself nicely i talk to myself nicely sometimes i don't but i try my best to talk to myself like i have common sense <laughs> i try to talk to myself as if the person talking is who i want to be right like we all have like this best like the best version we can think of ourselves like what we want to be like for me, I talk like that person to myself, even if I don't believe it. Because babe, fake it till you make it. It doesn't matter if I believe it or not. What matters is that I'm actually trying. Because one day, one day, whether it takes a month, whether it takes two months, whether it takes a year, those words are gonna come so naturally to you. I am beautiful. I'm funny, I'm kind, I'm loving. Those words will be like, butter off of your mouth okay because it's so true and it rings so true and don't think that i think it's not hard it's a very difficult thing okay like i said struggle for like eight years it is a struggle especially someone who struggles with anxiety and depression babe you are not alone <laughs> i struggle so badly with it but you have to offer yourself some grace <laughs> you do you have to offer yourself some grace and i also i also came to the point where i was like i cannot let my own mind get the best of me i can't <laughs> it's like i can't let my own mind get the best of me not when it comes to like self-care and stuff like loving myself i can't like people will say this that and the third people always love to say things okay misery loves company they see something in you that is so bright and so beautiful 
and they can't stand it. So they want to suck that life out of you, but you can't let them suck that life out of you. You cannot let other people diminish your life because other people will always be crappy people. You cannot be crappy to yourself. You owe it to yourself that much to just not be crappy to yourself. Everyone else is going to suck you. You don't suck. <laughs> so I had that mentality for a while. And I mean, it was like I said, it was hard. I sticky notes. I for a year. I was like, I have to change the way I think about myself. I have to know that I am tough and I'm caring and I'm beautiful and I'm successful and I can do anything I put my mind to. So I took some sticky notes. I took a pen and I wrote. I wrote the words that I wanted to be. And literally all around my walls just were sticky notes of words of affirmations that I wanted me, future me to know. I read it every morning and there was literally like solid 80 sticky notes in my room just posted around now did I read the 80 sticky notes every morning no but did I try to read them every day yes so I had a mirror a vanity mirror and on the vanity mirror all around would be the things that I would read in the morning and the other ones that were on the wall is what I would wear what I would wear what I would read before I went to bed and it's crazy because you wouldn't think that it did anything, but it did. It did so much. Because even if I didn't believe it at some point, because I said it so much, what's it? There's something that my mom always said to me, and it was repetition deepens the impression. And it's so true. <laughs> the more you say it, the more you think it. The more you think it, the more you remember it, the more you remember it the more it just seeps into who you are and it becomes you. You are one, you are now one with the truth because it's always been the truth. You are beautiful, you are amazing, you are kind, you are passionate, you are so capable of doing so many grand things, no matter what anyone has to say. So to wrap up today's video, learn to love yourself and it's gonna take time. But I want you to know that I think you're beautiful. In case no one told you today, babe, you look good, you look great. Your smile, perfection. There's something about it that's just, mm, yes, love to see that for you. I love that. And I want to see other people happy. That's always what I want to see. And I'm hoping that this video at least made you smile at some point. <laughs> so without further ado, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button or don't, you know, I don't run your life. But you know if you love me you know if you made it this far just hit that subscribe button why does it say 22 minutes i was talking that long my goodness and as i said this is going to be a three-part series so go ahead and hit that notification bell too go, go ahead hit it hit it just, hit it. just you know and also follow my social medias these are them these are she these are they these are it my social media platforms yeah so i will see you in the next video which will be released tomorrow so yeah bye mm -hmm. love yourself because i love you bye <laughs>